health. Well, in your consumer news this morning with the news that Federal Reserve uh, may soon stop raising interest rates, money is going back into the stock market. But for many first time investors, knowing where to invest and not take more risks than they're comfortable with can cause some people to feel a little confused. Here with five really good tips to avoid making some rookie investing mistakes is our money and business expert Derek Kinney here. Welcome back. Thank you, Cleo. Great to see you. Glad to have you. All right. So when it comes to first time investors, all right, like myself, uh, you say one, I guess uh, one of the first tips is to stop the single stock shock. A, a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, say that fast yeah. several times. No, I won't. I won't do it. Let's talk about that. Well, it's tempting when you hear a stock is doing super well. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to want to put all of your money into it, thinking, well, if I could make a little bit of money with a little bit, I can make so much more money. The problem is it's like fool's gold. Yeah. People do it and then typically they're late to the game. Other people have taken the profits already and you are left holding the bag. And it's a costly lesson for many rookie investors. Yeah, yeah. One to remember as well. Now you also say FOMO is a no-go. Tell yes. us about that. Well, fear <laughs> of missing out has cost so many people. It's cost me a lot of money over my lifetime as well because I don't like to miss out on exciting things. The shiny objects attract mm. my attention. Like what, Derek? And for many of our viewers as well, clear yeah. we're preaching to the choir here. Yes. So what you want to look at is ask yourself, is this the best opportunity for me? Based on my goals, my risk tolerance, uh, when am I going to retire? When do I want to start a business? When do my kids need to go to college? Mm -hmm. All of those time frames can dictate what investments are best for you and can you take the risk? Mm -hmm. In other words, if you lose sleep at night worrying about money that you've lost don't on investment, do don't do it. The quality of life that you lose is not worth maybe a couple extra dollars you might make on a stock. That makes sense. Now, another tip that you say it maybe can help beginner investors is that easy money is hard to find. Can you explain that? Well, it is. And when you look at TikTok and Instagram yeah. and all the socials, everybody, the Cleo, is an overnight success. Most people don't realize, though, it takes about 20 years of overnights Ooh. to truly be an overnight success. And what we want to look at is if, the, if it looks too easy, mm -hmm. then it's probably going to be hard to to make that much money. So you want to be sure you're diversified. And what I like to look at are what are called uh, index funds or exchange traded funds. These indexes were as opposed to putting all your bets on one stock. Mm -hmm. Now maybe it's the S&P 500 where there's 500 high quality stocks. So if one stock doesn't do well, the others can carry the load and help you reach your goals. Plus, in most cases, rarely do stocks ever beat the S&P 500 on average. So it's an easy way and a low stress way to invest. Derek, you know your stuff. All right, the last two uh, tips here, talk about focusing on investing goals. All right, walk us through those. Well, you wanna make sure that you know, especially with the new year starting up, mm -hmm. what is one financial goal that you wanna focus all your attention on? One of the things that holds so many people back, Cleo, is they said New Year's resolutions, and they said 10 of them or 20 of them, and a week later, they're so tired that they say, forget that, it's just gonna be another year. You're talking about me, huh? Well, this is nothing personal. I didn't read your email. <laughs> but you just wanna take one sticky note, Cleo. Make it simple for people. Okay. On one sticky note, you and the one you love the most, write out, here is our number one goal this year. And you wanna put that on your bathroom mirror, on your nightstand, in your car, and then stay focused on it. I'm going to work on that today, <coughs> our number one goal. Excuse me, yes. All right, Derek, Make it easy. thank you. Yeah, and looking at those tips, great tips as well. Great, great. All right, how can people reach out to you before we go? Yeah, uh, Instagram is a great way. Derek T. Kinney, we post great ways to make and save money, and we make it easy and simple for people. All right, Derek, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Cleo. All right, coming up.